Hi everybody, it's Budget Bunny here and today's video is a long-awaited pet room tour. Um, I realized that I did say I was going to post this a couple weeks ago but we ended up getting really busy on the weekend and I didn't get a chance to tidy up and decorate that weekend and then Murray got sick so I was a little bit distracted but I got everything done this weekend just in time for Valentine's Day and I thought that I would share it with you. So I just thought first that I would show you guys around the room a little bit. It has changed a little bit to accommodate our new little hamster. So I'm going to start just over here. So just behind the rabbit room door is actually where I keep my little stepladder. That's so that I can get up to the piggy cage. Because the guinea pigs are on top of the rabbit cages, um, it's a little bit tall for me because I'm pretty short. And then just on this little nightstand here, I do have a little Valentine's Day gift box. And I'm actually hoping to use this in some Valentine's themed photography I'm going to be doing this week. I've left up my two cards from... Uh, the one was from Bunt Boutique Contest, and the other one was a really nice one that Snowdrop Hedgie sent me, along with a gift that she sent me, and that video I'm going to post next because I finally got footage of the bunnies playing with their ball. And this one here is just a really nice little Valentine's themed tea light holder. And it actually, I did light the tea light in it. Let me just turn. See how pretty that is? I just thought that was really cute. And then I just have another candle right behind it. Oops. Um, the other candle right isn't lit. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the little Valentine's candle holder looked like. So that's what's going on with this night table. And nothing has really changed with the couches. I still have my rabbit plaques up here. And my little shelves there, they can't hold a lot of weight, so that's why I didn't add anything to them. Um, and, oh, I forgot. So my mother-in-law was actually doing some weeding out of some plants. And she gave me a couple really nice arrangements that she had. So this is real, but I can sure assure you that my animal's health always I'm comes not first. sure that they're rabbit safe so but my rabbits aren't allowed to run around in this room anyways I know you guys have probably seen Ollie hopping around in here because he gets out of his cage so that is definitely um, going to stop now because I don't want him getting into this but as a general rule they're not allowed to run around in this room when you see floor time they're always in the hallway in our bedroom so greenery in your pet room provided that your pets can't have access to it um, is actually really good because it can pur help purify the air so it helps keep the smell level down so I'm really excited to have that and we still have the plaques right here of the peas we're gonna have to add something of Chandler now that he's in this room too and then over here this is where the Christmas tree was but I've just changed it around. So I've got just a little um, cute little pot here that says Happy Valentine's Day on it. And it's just got a nice little, um, I'm not sure what you'd call that, but kind of like a little confetti, um, confetti sequin maybe arrangement. And then we just have this little sign that says love. And I just put a little heart on it. Uh, there's another candle right here, but I don't really like candles in here just because they can be pretty sensitive to smells. Um, they're more for decoration. So that's what that area looks like. And then if we come over here, so just above Chandler's cage, I've just put up some little heart garland and added a few little cardboard hearts as well. And at the top here, I've had, added some droopy heart garland up there just for more decoration. And unfortunately yesterday when I was cleaning and moving things around, 
the candle holder that was up on this ledge actually broke. And so I just put another one of those little gift boxes up there. And this little ledge here, I've just added another one of those little arrangements and there's a little heart and still my empty pots. I'm hoping to maybe put an orchid or something right there. So you may notice that this is a different bookcase than it was before. This one was actually to the right of Willow and Ollie's cage, but um, as you'll see in a minute, it wouldn't really make sense to have it there. So I've moved the tall, narrower bookcase out of this room and put that one there. So it's all the same with the toy basket in the bottom. And again, there's Chandler's cage. And what I've tried to do with Chandler's cage is just position it right under the window here. Put their food there because um, that's a much easier place for me to access it as opposed to um, above Rocky and Honey's cage in the closet. Um, as well, I might tie back the curtains. I'm not too sure because Chandler's cage, as you can see, takes up quite a lot of space under the window. Now he can't really get to the curtains only because the hardware mesh I used was so small but I don't like that the curtains are catching on the mesh, so I might um, get my husband to install some kind of little hooks on the side to hold them back, which is kind of a shame because I really liked the uh, droopy seam, kind of the way that they drooped and hung in the window, but what can you do? So then on the guinea pig cage here, I've just added some more garland. Again, it's higher than they are. You'll notice that the rabbit's cages don't have any garland or anything hanging from them and that's because they could reach it. So that's that. And then on the very top I've added some more of those hearts. Now these are all the twinkle lights from Christmas. I didn't end up taking them down because my husband and I thought they looked nice in here. And especially because this time of the year it gets dark so early, we thought we would just leave them up. They actually add a little more light than the lamp does in this room. And again, just remember that if you're putting anything on your cages to make sure that your rabbits cannot get to them. So it's kind of late here, so it's so dark, but I just finished floor time with the bunnies, so they're back in for the night. Um, so we have Chandler's cage right here. I did clean it out yesterday but I didn't really change too much around with it yet because I want him to feel comfortable in his home. So it's kind of looking the same. Chandler. Hi Chandler. Hello. I see that little nose in there. I can see it. I don't know if we can see him, but he's in the woodland getaway. Hello baby. Hello. So now probably who you really want to see are all the bunnies. So we'll start with Ollie's cage. And again, like I always tell you guys, their cages don't change very often because the layout has to kind of stay the same. So I'll just show you what's going on with all of them. Oh, sorry, Callie. <laughs> just put my hand on her tail. There's Boo Boo. Hello, Ollie. Hello. So Ollie's hanging out in his litter box, and there's his hay rack stuffed with Timothy hay. Hello little dude, whoops, hello. Oh look at you, you're so sweet. Oh, and we got Willow, we got Willow, hello Willow, hello. You want head pats too? You want some head pats? Oh, so sweet. Yes, you're so sweet. Hello. Okay, this is a little trickier to do when you have to manually focus everything. Okay, so up above we have a treat ball. Someone asked me where I buy my treat balls. I buy them at a local pet shop. Um, unfortunately, it's not a chain store, but I'm sure you can get them at any pet store. Um, I think they're by Super Pet. 
Um, and then we just have his little bed. So it's got a nice fuzzy blanket, a little pillow underneath, and those are just litter boxes from the dollar store. They're plastic. So they're great for rabbits that really like to chew and dig because they can't really um, wreck that too easily. And just right here he has his water bowl. And then he's got his staircase to the bottom level. Um, he does have a treat toy, not a treat. He does have a toy there that I made him. And for any of my homemade toys, you can make sure to check out the website, budgetbunny.ca. Unfortunately, I haven't been great at updating it lately. I've just been so busy with all the pets and keeping up with my YouTube channel. So I'm still trying to find a happy balance. Uh, right in the corner there of his litter box is Ollie's pellet dish and I bought them these cute little plastic heart dishes from the dollar store. All of my decorations were from the dollar store by the way and um, his is empty right now because he needs to eat some hay. He's already had his pellets for today. This is one of the really cool balls that Snowdrop Hedgie sent me that I kind of touched on earlier when I was showing you the cards. These are really cool. So I had mentioned to her that I'd looked everywhere for a large jingle ball like we see in a lot of the videos from the UK. And so she found these ones at her pet store, which was awesome. And she was kind enough to send them to me. They've got two little jingle balls inside. And then they're this really big one that they can get their paws in to throw it around. And they absolutely love it. And then over here we have a log house. We have just a homemade rattle, uh, a chew that he's really enjoyed. These are Java wood, they're parrot toys, um, but they're safe for small pets as well and mine really love them. Although I've added some willow, here's a willow ball here. I've added some willow treats to their cages yesterday night. So I'm sure they won't be touching the Java wood now that I've put willow in. Willow is our absolute favorite. Oh, Ollie was up on his hind legs there, trying to get some food. So cute. And we have, oops, 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 oops. We just have a pine cone right there. And there's another just wood chew right there. Uh, and he has an igloo down there. I've never been able to get the stickers off my igloos and I can't be bothered to like soak them in a tub of water so they've got them on there. I don't find they bother them at all. The reason that one's ripped is because that was me trying to get it off. Uh, so that's Ollie's cage. So Willow's cage. Hello Willow. Um, Ollie likes to throw things around by the way but he doesn't, he's not a big chewer so that's why he doesn't have, he has toys but he doesn't have a ton of toys and I do rotate the toys so this is just where I've placed all the toys when I was cleaning the other day. So she also has a big willow ball. This is her favorite toy and I could never take it away from her. It's one of those dumbbell toys. She absolutely loves it and she was actually throwing it around before I started this video. This is, it's made its way back into her cage again, but it's just a homemade toy I got at the All About Pet Show last year. And then we have her ball here. I already showed you that. And then here, because Willow is a big chewer, so she likes all these things. She's got a Java wood chew, which she's already kind of demolished. She's got the raffia corn roller. She has a pine cone. And she's got a few wooden chews that, again, she's not at. So she's got her hay and litter box here and her ladder. You can't come out buddy boy. And then up here she's got her water dish, her heart food dish, and her little bed. So again it's got a fleece blanket and a pillowcase in it. She's got a little hanging toy there that I made and she's got her veggie ball. Okay, so now we will move on to Honey and Rocky's cage. And they have the 4x4 CNC cage, but instead of Coroplast, because that doesn't hold up very well to 
um, strong chewers like bunnies we used wood and I should tell you um, with willow and ollie so you guys probably know but it was an x pen that we modified and then added the cnc grids or the nic grids up at the top so that willow would have enough space but we were able to get one two three levels out of the x pen and then use the nic grids at the top so that she would also have a second so level. just on the bottom floor here I use binder clips, by the way, to keep my cages locked, and they seem to work fine, and they're really cheap to buy. So this is Rocky, and he's hanging out. Oh, there's Honey. Hello, Honey. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. So this is Honey and Rocky's home. And Rocky is just hanging out in his litter box, eating some hay. Hello, Rocky. Oh, you're so sweet. You're super sweet. So they have a cardboard box house just in the back there that they love to dig and hide in. There's Honey. And they do have some toys down here. Oh, there's their big ball. Honey loves this ball. I can hear her. She wakes me up in the middle of the night playing with it. Look how scratched up it is. It's all scratched up already. She loves it. Okay, so just up here I have a wooden chew. These were actually wrapped with pet safe um, papers, but clearly Honey has demolished it and then she's eaten the chew. Um, Rocky absolutely loves this toy, so that's why it stays in here. It's a rattle. Oh, Honey. Such a bossy bee. Uh, they have a pine cone. Um, they have a veggie ball here. They also have a veggie ball right here so that they don't have to fight over their veggie balls. They get really excited over veggie time. And they have a hamburger, loofah, and wood chew there. And a poo it looks like. And they have a wood chew there. This is a little tambourine I got at Bun Fest that neither of them seem to care about but it hangs out in their cage. And Honey loves this one. Honey is like the biggest chewer ever. And she loves this. I got this. I won this in Small Paws in the Gardens contest last year. Oops. And um, she loves it. It's just a soft wood chew. And I think it was from Busy Bunny. And then we have another chew right back there. So that's their second level. And we'll follow Honey up to the third. And up here we have a food and water dish. Again, they've already had their pellets for the day, so that's why they're empty, but they do have water. And they have a second food and water dish, just so that they don't have to, these bowls are a little bit smaller, so I just don't want them to have to fight over them. They just look like this. They're pretty cute. Um, they have a willow ball. They have a jingle ball and a homemade toy that I really need to fix up because Honey's loved it and demolished it. They have their little bed like the other two with a blanket and a pillow underneath. Under here they have a willow ring chew and then they have their cardboard tunnel and this is from, you can get these at hardware stores. I think they're just a concrete tunnel thing that you pour concrete into but they're just like a heavy cardboard so they're great for the bunnies. Oh, she's mad at me. Why are you mad at me? That just goes down to their other bottom levels and then because this is kind of the floor that they love to chew on, we just make sure there's lots of cardboard there so that they can stay busy. And finally we are going to move on to the guinea pig cages. Now we are moving on to the 2x5 cage that the piggies live in. And I'll show you, it was Valentine's decorated last week. I had pink and red fleece in here, um, but unfortunately because I didn't get a chance to do the rest of the room, you didn't see the rest of the cage and I've had to switch the fleeces out. So I still have 
these really nice little pillows. They're really soft and cushy, and I keep finding them all over the place. So I think the piggies are liking laying in them. And I just got those at the dollar store, and I just cut the tags off so they can't chew on them. They have their little hanging chew toy there. That is just a little cuddle bed, snuggle bed, or um, snuggle sack, whatever you want to call them, that I made. There's one of those Java wood chews right there. They have one of those raffia corn chews. And they have this little ball here. Um, there's another of those Java wood chews. They've made a pile of willow right here. So we have a willow ball, a little one, a little willow chew ring, and this is just one of those little willow, um, little willow chews from uh, the pet store. Oh, Phineas, are you liking your bed? So I haven't. I've been making some pet beds, and I've got the cat ones all done, but. I underestimated the size of the guinea pigs. I was so proud I had this really cute one all made for them. And then they couldn't fit their whole bodies in it. So they kind of lay with their butts hanging out the back. It was really silly and I felt really bad. So these are just uh, the little, the actually they're quite a big size. They could both fit in here, but I know they won't. Um, and I just cleaned it out and they've already put poos in it. But those are just from the dollar store. I think they're about $3. And they've got their veggie ball here. Oh, look at it. Look at Finny's face. Hey, Finn. Oh, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard when you gotta manual focus this thing. There you go. Look at you. So they have their little um, log hut here. I generally keep this one in the cage. This doesn't change too much only because this is really nice and heavy and it holds the fleece down right there because. Sammy loves to bear, burrow in the fleece, so that's why that one stays there, and they always seem to bug just that area, so. And then this I just use for veggie treats as well. It's a bird um, seed feeder, but it works great for veggie time. And they've got two water bottles just on the back here, so the one is almost empty. I'll have to fill that up tonight. And the other one is full. And then they just have... I think there's Sammy. Hi, Sam. So just in the back there, they have a little log hut. They have um, their little ramp, and I use these leg warmers, these fuzzy leg warmers from the dollar store to cover it, and that works really well for traction, and it's nice and soft on their feet. And then on the second level here, we have uh, just a blanket here. That's where their other water bottle is. And then this is where their hay and food are. So again, these guys will get some more pellets tonight. And um, this is the little heart bowls from the dollar store. So that's their litter box and hay rack. And it looks a little messy in there because I gave them some extra hay to play in today. So I had it all in the hay rack or in the litter box. And I guess they've had a good time uh, playing with it. And just on the top here, if we just fold this down, I've got their big long tunnel here and then their tent and here. they've got their lights just along the back. So again these are just the Christmas lights that I used. And I am trying to source some materials to redo their cage because I really really hate that there isn't any kind of lip or border I guess around the cage like a CNC cage that prevents things from falling out because there's always poos everywhere and it drives me nuts and also what I was thinking was getting like a big long piece I was going to do the whole thing in plexiglass but I think it might be a little too expensive and too much work um, and we started selling some sheets of what looks like chloroplast at work for their presentation boards so I was thinking I might use those along the bottom but then along the front here just have a big piece of plexiglass and the same at the top here because I'm really short then they would be safe but I would be able to see them up there because all this area that's black would be clear and then not that they never ever try to get out of this and Finney loves to sit here to get his veggies um, but I would like it a little higher so they can't chew on it but also just to be a little bit safer Look, here they are. There's those silly little pigs. 
Silly pigs. Oh, you're so silly. Here they are. So cute. So that's Sir Phineas Fluffy Talks and Sir Samson McSqueaker Box. And they both share the bed, but they never go in there together because they're bossy little pigs. They are. You guys are so bossy. Are you going to say hello? Hello, piggies. Oh, piggy nose. Oh, can't focus. There we go. See? There goes Sam. We sneaking in the bed. Hi! Look at that piggy nose. I don't have anything for you right now. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go do veggies next. So, anyways, that is what the piggies and rabbits' cages are looking like right now. And, again, we have decorated for Valentine's Day. So, I think it looks really nice in here. And, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later.